check out Rusty Sunshine Park. I know I'm saying that wrong, but uh, got a bunch of people dancing. And this lotus pond's been here since 1937. Holy cow! Well, you could just wander around in here for hours. What an awesome park to fly a kite. Ain't nobody telling these cats they can't fly kites. I don't think you can see that one. It is above the level of that skyscraper. It is so high up there, it's crazy. Lay's. Lay's my favorite brand. Tastes like Lay's and wasabi. Now this is good. How cool. Just a jam session out here in the middle of the park. We just stumbled across these folks making ceramics. Great park in the middle of the city. We're on our last few hours in Shanghai. We dropped our bags at the hotel to hold them for a few hours and we're going to go explore. First we're going to try and check out the other half of the Bund, that really nice boardwalk along the river as long as the weather cooperates. Got this little collection of international Starbucks mugs they've got all over the place, but this is something I've never seen. We might not be able to fit any of these in our backpacks. We'll make sure we get a good video of the cool mugs. Look, they have a little scuba diving bear and an inner tube dude. Those are cool. What a gorgeous walk. There's 25 million people in the city and it feels less crowded than Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Beautiful. The air's a little shady, but other than that, it's really nice. This is our first time trying China's version of Uber, which is called Didi. Cool thing is the app translates everything from English to Chinese so that when you don't speak Chinese, it makes it a whole lot easier to get where you're going. Good so far. It's safe and sound at the Shanghai Rail Station. DD worked great. Um, the first guy tried to scam us. Uh, same deal where they say like, oh, they, you see him pass you on the map and they go somewhere else. And then he says, oh, you have to cancel. I can't, if you cancel, you have to pay. So I messaged him a couple times, had him cancel. Second guy, fantastic. Got us here, it was super cheap. It was like $3. It would have cost us $1 on the subway making a couple changes. It was $3 in the DD. so. Uh, yes, much easier. $2 well spent. We're at the rail station now. Look at this giant screen behind us. It shows all the trains and which waiting area you have to go to for them. So you don't have to go in and ask. This place is awesome and it works. Yes. It's a far, I mean, it was far easier than I ever thought it was going to be. Yeah, Shanghai is awesome. All right, off we go.
Now that we're all settled into the train station, got a little train station snack before we hop on the train. Something really nice, well, you know, for big eaters like me, the portions are really good size at all these places we've eaten at. And the Chien. This train station is really nice. We booked the sleeper car again. This is even older. Hello, Katie. Hello. What do you think of this train? It's really nice. I love all the wood. This one has a lot more wood. This is a little more stylish than the last one. This, the last one was the most comfortable train we've been on, so hot dang. You would think that traveling at night, we'd miss some of the view, but China's so beautiful at night with all the LEDs lighting everything up. It's just like a whole other world. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe! Oh, now that was good.